Okay, so that's sort of that. Now, I really, really want to talk about the construction courses before we jump on to those questions that are coming through as well. Yeah. Because I know Fintech offers some really unique construction courses that are not really offered elsewhere in, um, yeah. in New Zealand. Um, do you just want to talk to us about what construction courses you've got and yeah. then we can talk about some career outcomes? So we have uh, two New Zealand diplomas in construction. One is the New Zealand diploma in construction, focusing on construction management. Uh, that's for uh, students who do not directly meet a bachelor's requirement, and uh, which is a two-year program uh, offered at Unitech. And then we have the New Zealand diploma in construction, uh, focusing on quantity surveying. Um, if uh, that's also another two year program. And then we have a bachelor's of construction in construction economics, construction management and property development. So people who do the New Zealand diploma in construction can get a one year cross credit into a bachelor's program. So they're left with only two years if they have to cross credit to a bachelor's in construction management with either okay. of the two courses in quantity surveying and construction management. So we and try and sort of Yep, sorry. No, go ahead, please. Uh, so, um, and apart from that, if we already have students who have an architecture background, who already did civil engineering in India, and they don't want to make a huge investment of studying a two-year or a three-year degree, then we also offer a level seven, one-year graduate diploma in construction project management. Um, uh, the employability rate on that program is really high. It's over 90% at Unitech uh, because of our strong industry connections with the construction uh, field as well. And uh, there are more than uh, 56,000 jobs in construction management in Auckland uh, and about 15,000 new jobs in South Auckland. Uh, which yeah. uh, and, and knowing the population of New Zealand, which is about 4 50,000 people, not everybody is a civil engineer or a construction person. So mm. they are really looking at people coming from, you know, they're looking at uh, people to do this course and, you know, come and add value and get jobs in construction. And I think that's, that's the whole purpose of having this session. We don't want to just push a course. We want to try and see what career opportunities sit into yes. the skill shortages. So if you look at these construction courses, you can become a building associate, you can become a construction project yes. manager, there's yep. and all of these occupations do sit in the skill shortage um, areas. Yes. Um, and there are opportunities available. So if you have a civil background and you've kind of drifted away into doing a graduate diploma in business, which is what you came in for, hmm. and maybe you've come to an end with your, uh, you know, with your field and you don't really know much way to go for getting a residence, yes. maybe it's time to said button if you can look at if this is if studying in New Zealand again is an option that you can consider then probably you know going back to studying and maybe we we'll look at cross credits so maybe look at the grad dip and look at some career yes. pathways um yes. obviously if you go back into the bachelors and as a returning student then you've got the three years open work visa and for a level seven if it's your first time doing a qualification then you've got sort of the one year in Auckland um yes. open work visa. So those decisions are quite important for people that are on shore um but yeah yeah, because the employability rate is pretty high and our English language requirement for a grad dip in uh, construction project management is equal to a postgraduate requirement. So we require an IELTS of still 6.5, no band less than 6 mm -hmm. in order to, because that's a requirement by the industry as well and also helps in making you more employable because people are looking at good communication skills as well. I think that makes sense.